Nation, it's me, Melina and I. No, I am not naked. I have a shirt on. It is just super hot in here right now. I do have the air conditioner going, so if you hear background noise, that is what that is. Today, we are going to discuss the Kaleidoscope palette from Profusion. I got this from Walmart for $20. And I thought $20 is actually a reasonable price for all of the colors that we get in here. I mean, look at these shimmers. I mean, these are gorgeous. So I already primed my eyes and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in so you don't have to look at my ghostly shoulders. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Don't mind my eye, it is so red right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead with the shade Witty and already, the kickback in the pan is horrendous. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this eye. Now, I don't know what look I'm going to do. It's a mystery. Yeah, that shade was a little too light. Even with a primer, this barely showed up. Barely. I'm a little worried about the pigment in this palette already. I did not do swatches. There is a shade called Alive, so I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that. Not as much kickback, but still okay it's a little darker than that i thought it was going to be a little bit darker i'm not really liking this palette so far um i'm gonna go ahead and do the shade changes it looks like it's supposed to be like a bronzer but maybe that's gonna give me the pigment that i'm looking for not really but it's there okay so that is what we have so far already i got some fallout right around in this corner i'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade fuego i'm gonna tap off some of the excess which is a lot. It is coming off like incense smoke. Like it's a lot of fallout. Now that shade is really pretty. It's finally giving me the pigment that I need. I'm gonna go into the shade Tarte. And I'm not even crazily digging into these pans and there's like hella kickback. I'm just gonna tuck that right in here because I need to deepen up this inner corner just a tad. Really am liking the shade Groove. So I'm gonna go into that shade. Okay, the purple actually showed up. All right, and I'm gonna use this blue called Afterthought. And no, that blue is barely there. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the shade Marina, which is a darker blue. Oh, that's much better. So the fallout was kind of crazy. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up my eye. As you guys can see, I had quite a bit of fallout. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a flat brush. This is usually what I use for my glitters. So I'm going to go into the shade Sunburst, and this actually picked up really nicely. Wow. Wow. I'm not going to lie, didn't expect that. Ooh. Oh my god. Wow. I'm in love with this glitter. I'm going to go ahead and pop on these $4 lashes. So we're gonna go in with the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage Foundation. And I'm just gonna add a little bit. That was probably way too much. This is literally the shade Light Cool. And it's darker than my body. So I'm gonna go in with my Born to Glow Concealer. Perfect. Okay, so I got this brush in BoxyCharm and it's infused with charcoal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some powder out of here. I don't look tired. Guys, I work so much. Where is my work-life balance? Where? Where is it at? And I'm bouncing it in the skin. Becca Chloe Malika palette. I've been really loving this stuff. I actually bought this back when I worked at Ulta. But I remember buying it and then just putting it away. I was like, I'm never going to use this. And now it's one of my favorite things to use. It gives you like that perfect glow. Alright, now I'm going to go into the Warrior palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to use that center shade. And highlight now this is not a highlighting palette however it is today oh beautiful 
This palette is stunning. You could totally use that as a bronzer. You can use this as a highlighter. You can use that to set your under eyes. And you can even use these for your eyeshadows. Multi-purpose. I stay up to almost 3 a.m. And I normally don't do that. Ooh, my nose is gonna be skinny. Okay, so I'm using the Hoola bronzer from my Chic Leaders palette. And I'm just making my nose like really tiny. Outstanding. I love these things from Soap and Glory. I don't know why I'm yelling, I'm sorry. Sadly, my Walgreens discontinued them, but I'm not sure if that's the case for all Walgreens. Well, I guess I'll go with this one because I love the Buxom ones, but also these are brand new and I'll just do a review for them. They smell actually pretty good. I don't know what they smell like, but it smells good. I like the way it feels. I love the doe foot applicator on those because it's big enough so you can get your lip in one swoop. So what makes these little lifter glosses special is they're actually formulated with hyaluronic acid. Now to set on makeup, I'm going to be using two setting sprays. I'm going to be doing a CoverGirl Outlast Active Cooling Setting Mist. So I'm going to use that and spray it all over. Now I'm going to go over top of that with a hydrating milky mist from Pixie. Alright, so here is the final look. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, learned something new. I will see you guys in my next video. Also, I will be doing a plus size try on haul with some Shein clothes. I just put in my order yesterday, so hopefully it'll be here within a week or so. I weigh 250 pounds. If you guys are kind of like in the same boat as me, you know how hard and difficult it is to find clothes. Because I know like on the website I was looking through it all and I was like, these girls are not even technically plus sized like they don't even have a stomach like I have a fucking stomach and so the way their clothes look on them it's not gonna look that way on me because my stomach isn't flat so I'm gonna do a clothing haul with that stuff maybe some more things in the future I was thinking about posting like cooking videos and just trying to branch out this channel is gonna be a fucking hot mess but you know it's just like me I want this channel to embody everything that I am so I'm a full figured person, I am plus sized, I am a makeup junkie, I love doing makeup, I like fashion, but I don't really wear fashionable clothes if that makes sense. I'm going to try to get myself out of that comfort zone. So coming out here with just bare shoulders, I was completely afraid of doing that. I'm just trying to build confidence. I'm always self deprecating, always, 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 and people do it to me too. You need to lose weight, I'm worried about you, it's for your health. I've heard it all. I've heard it all from everyone, my mother, my grandmother, my fiance. I've heard it from pretty much every single angle you could possibly think of. And so right now I'm just kind of tired of it. Yes, I weigh a lot. Is it your problem? No. Sorry for this whole random ramble of a thing. I'm gonna go ahead and just play the outro right now. Alright, love you guys. Bye.